हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दत्तात्रय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा फॉर न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दैट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज नोट दैट दिस विल बी प्रेजेंटेड इन अ पार्ट सो एज टू हैव अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एज वेल एज गाइडेंस ऑन द इंटरव्यू रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल then please visit to our channel e funda and watch all the videos created various topics of engineering and same can be seen in our playlist also for our viewers we have also started our new blog that is e funda channel where one can see the detailed technical discussions as well as article on various technical topic and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel e funda so let's begin with our today's topic that is interview questions process variable and their unit of measurement it is very critical to understand as this is related to the concept and this will help you to understand the question during your interview first point is the flow it is defined as a volume per unit of a time at a specified temperature and pressure conditions is generally measured by positive displacement or rate meters and the units of measurements are kg per hour liter per minute gallons per minute meter cube per hour newton meter cube per hour second is the level the height of the water column or a liquid or a powder etc at a desired measurement of height between minimum and maximum level point is called as actual level and units are meter mm centimeter and percentage third is the pressure it is defined as a force per unit area which is p is equals to f by a and units are bar pascal kg per centimeter square lb per inches etc fourth is the temperature it is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body is called as a temperature and units are degree centigrade degree fahrenheit degree kelvin degree rankine etc level measurement question 1 what is level measurement need of level measurement a level measurement is the measurement technique used in industry to know the amount or a percentage of a level field in any tank or a vessel or a sphere by measuring the level one can know the inventory in terms of the volume or height of the tank or a vessel for maintaining a proper amount of the stock in inventory so that one can know the production does not stop to save pump which may get damage by cavitation in case of a low level to avoid the tank getting overfill which can cause spillage and if the material is hazardous or a toxic then it can cause a damage to life as well as environment second question asked in the interviews are what are the types of a level measurement techniques used in the industry there are two types of a level measurement techniques are mainly used in industries are continuous level measurement where the level measurement can be used to measure a level from 0% to 100% where the level transmitters are used for continuous level measurement second type is a point level measurement is a technique used to know whether the level is above or below specific point one can see the figure level switches are used for measurement of a point level third question what are the types of a level transmitter used for continuous level measurement the level transmitters are generally used are different types of a pressure level transmitter bubbler type level transmitter radar type level transmitter ultrasonic type level transmitter nuclear type level transmitter capacitance type level transmitter servo type level transmitter are used mainly for the continuous level measurement question 4 for the measurement of a solid media in a tank which level transmitter can be used for the measurement of a liquid of a solid media in a tank one can consider radar type of a level transmitter ultrasonic type level transmitter and a nuclear type level transmitter differential pressure type level transmitter is widely used for which service differential pressure type level transmitter 
is widely used for the level measurement in open as well as in a closed tank which stores liquid sixth question what are the types of a configurations of a differential pressure transmitter type level transmitter wet lake type level transmitter as well as a dry lake type level transmitter are two types of a different pressure type level transmitter configurations are being used seventh question radar type level transmitter uses which property of a liquid to measure the level a radar type level transmitter is used the dielectric constant of a liquid to measure the level of a liquid and if someone wanting to understand the answers of this question in detail then please visit to our playlist engineering where we have created level measurement as a separate playlist where we have covered details of each type of a level transmitter as well as level instrument in detail eighth question what is a level gauge how liquid level measurement done by using magnetic type level gauge level gauge is used for local level indication in the field that means the indications will be there at the location that means at the field site magnetic type level gauges are a measuring type of instrument which uses the same fluid and therefore shows level also uses magnets for attraction and repulsion method while in a service hence do not required a separate power one can see the animations how the attraction and repel principle or a method is being employed for having the liquid level measurement with the help of magnetic type level gauges ninth question differential pressure level transmitter that is the difference between hp and lp is used for level measurement for level measurement by differential pressure instrument with both side hp and lp connections are being used for the measurement by connecting to the vessel one can see the various configurations are shown first configuration is a closed tank level measurement using dp transmitter one can see the arrangement of a transmitter where hp and lp are connected to the dp level transmitter and accordingly the output of the signal proportional to the level is shown or sent to the control room second is a closed tank level measurement using dp transmitter where the transmitter is installed exactly at the hp point and this is the ideal and preferred way of installation of a transmitter similarly third figure where closed tank level measurement using dp transmitter the transmitter mounted above the hp tapping point and this is a not preferable chance of a bubble formation in the impulse line where the x is indicated that will be always having the formation of the liquid fourth configuration that is a closed tank level measurement using dp transmitter one can see the transmitter installed below hp tapping point and this type of installation always gives the error which can be compensated effectively by suppressing or by elevating the transmitter zero this is how the dp transmitter is being used for the level measurement in various configurations which we have seen question 10 what is the time of flight principle used for level measurement using ultrasonic and radar type flow transmitter in time of flight principle the time of a wave which are sent from transmitter and received back after hitting the surface is noted down by the electronic module one can see the figure where the pulse is generated and then again reflection is received and same is recorded eco wavelength plot and based on the time and speed of the wave distance can be easily known which is our required level and types are non contact radar type lt which uses a radar wave to travel in open space where more signal loss due to tendency of a electromagnetic radiation 
to disperse over space one can refer to the figure for non contact radar type level measurement how the radio waves are being transmitted second type is a contact type guided wave radar gwrlt wave guide that is a rod assembly to travel the signal and combat this signal loss by channeling a radio energy along a straight line path one can refer to the picture where guided wave radar gwr level measurement is done with the help of radio wave transmitted across the probe and the energy that is a probe is used guided wave radar instrument may be a single metal rod parallel pairs of a metal rod or a coaxial metal rod and tube structure etc we have reached to most important summary of a level measuring instrument and their working courtesy by instrumentation tool team where they have created excellent animation covering all the different types of level measuring instrument starting with guided wave radar that is a tdr type one can see how the pulses are sent and being reflected and the plot is also shown simultaneously ultrasonic type two wire pulse radar four wire pulse radar four wire fm cw radar capacitance type level measuring instrument and for each type of this instrument the graph is being plotted so as to understand the performance of this level measuring instrument and how the output is taken across this thing this is how the level instrument technical interview questionnaires are being covered as part of this series and keep watching for continuous session on the interview questions parts which will be creating as we are progressively moving ahead in the topic of this interview questions with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel e funda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel e funda for various topic related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel e funda thanks watch our channel for new day new topic